Hey y'all, this is Ree. Happy Sunday, happy Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm getting ready to head out to a Super Bowl shindig, running late as usual, that's just what I do. And yet even with me running late, I decided to come to you guys briefly just to talk about the foolishness that has gone on today while I was getting ready. Kanye West, once again, we are here. Kanye decides on this beautiful Sunday when he's supposed to be heading with his choir to go and sing. He chooses violence <laughs> to go after Kid Cudi, Kim Kardashian, and Pete Davidson, where he calls him Skeet Davidson. I pray to God that y'all don't be up in Pete Davidson's um, comments calling that man Skeet. That is just so, like, it's bullying at this point. So um, Kanye decides to come for them once again. It's, it's, let me tell you something. Kim needs a restraining order. And if Kim wants to go for full custody, I don't blame her. This man is unstable. And you got to say, screw what the media thinks. If you want to go after full custody for the protection of your kids from this maniac, I don't blame you. This is obsessed at this point. If I was Pete, I'd get a restraining order against Kanye. I don't blame you. I don't care if your girl get mad. She get mad, oh well. I get a restraining order against her. Like Kanye, it's, 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 it's exhausting. It's very exhausting. You're so worried about North, your daughter's North's uh, social media account, which I call bullshit because she had the account for a very long time before Kim even announced divorce. She had that account. You had no problems with it then. At least you didn't tell us. So I'm going to assume you didn't. Because you bring everything else to social media. So I'm going to assume you had no problem with it then. It's just that now you're like going out of your way to make her life a living hell. So now you want to claim that you're making this about the kids. The only one who doesn't need social media is you. Kanye is you. Kanye, you get on social media today. And he posts a message that Pete respectfully sends to him saying that, hey, you know what? I'm not the type of guy that's going to step between a man and his kids. Like, you know, um, hopefully I get to meet you one day. You know, like basically try to squash things as grown men, which is big of Pete because I wouldn't have done that when I am not the one with a problem. You, you're mentioning my name in songs. You're all over social media harassing me just because I'm dealing with the woman who no longer wants you. You ran her away. You ran Kim away. And the more you speak, the more you make us feel like, how does she deal with you for this long? How does she deal with you for so long to where she said, I'm not going to just give him one kid. I'm going to give him four. Y'all, I can't. I, like, I, I honestly cannot. She went and she decided that she was going to give him four. Four kids. I mean, they're gorgeous. Every last one of them. Kim, if you wanted a restraining order at this point, I don't blame you. I don't blame if the whole family gets a restraining order. You didn't go and move your house. Kanye's trying to convince us that he grabbed a home right across the street from the Kardashians because he wanted to be close to your kids. Dude, you picked up and left to a whole nother state to record an album. Wasn't that away from your kids? You do not need to be across the street to see your kids and anyone that is saluting that y'all are sick just like Kanye because that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard and then for you to try to bring in your mother and your father's matter and say yeah you know because my mother came between my dad and our relationship this and that and I'm not going to let someone else you don't need to be across the street for that you let the courts get involved like you guys are doing except that you refuse to respond to the lawyers, as Kim says, to get this divorce going because you're too busy harassing her every chance you get, but yet you're trying to claim it's about the kids. If it's about the kids, you let the courts handle that. You let this, this divorce, the family lawyers, the family judge, let all of them handle that. Let them figure out who gets on what days and who gets on what weekends. Like, if this was really about the kids, you should be running to the courts to say, let's get this over with. So you can tell me what days I get to have my children. <laughs> like, let's get this over with. I just need to know the days that I get to have my kids. Okay? Like, 
it, it makes no, like it's, you playing on everyone's head. And the more that people defend him, the more that I see, no, Kanye is, is not that he's a genius, is that people are dumb. Because it, it doesn't make any sense that we are excusing this level of behavior. This, this is some obsessive, harassing shit that can go violent. It can go violent. If Pete Davidson had the spirit of the baby, Kanye. <laughs> Kanye. He wouldn't be with us. I'm just, I'm just assuming. I'm just assuming. Notice how the moment he came from Kid Cudi and Kid Cudi went to respond and come at his neck, what did Kanye do? He backpedaled. He realized that's not what he wants. All of a sudden, I love Cudi. You know, Cudi is this, Cudi is that. Yeah, yeah, you change your tune real quick. It took Cudi one respond to get at you, to realize, bruh, I know that Big Sean lets you make it. I know that uh, John Legend lets you make it. Pete Davidson lets you make it. Jay-Z <laughs> and Beyonce let you make it. You get what I'm saying, bruh? I'm on whatever wave you want. Like, I'm on, if that's the energy you want, I'm on that energy too. That's how everyone needs to be handling Kanye. Because if you notice the moment that you you give it to him, all of a sudden he retreats. All of a sudden it was a, my bad. It ain't that deep. Of this, of that. All he wants is attention from everyone. It's, re, it's, re, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And I hope that the judge, the lawyers involved in this divorce and all of that, I hope they realize, yeah, you can see your kids supervise visits. Because we got to protect the babies at this point. We got to protect the babies at this point. It, it is dangerous. My life would be like, let me say this. I know people that have lost their lives. Their lives, sorry, correct English, due to an obsessive, abusive ex. Didn't even realize, right? Like, oh no, he'll never do that. You don't like, you don't know a person's mindset when they are in an obsessive state. Stop excusing this. Because if, if Kanye was not Kanye, the world would take this seriously. I need Kim to take this seriously. I need her whole family to take this seriously. I need Kris Jenner to look at her daughter and go, baby girl, we're not playing that. Because this could easily go wrong. Easily. This man literally was out with Julia Fox. Kissing her down. Buying all of her little friends, little baby Hermes bags. And just to still be obsessed with <laughs> somebody help them in. Somebody help them. And um yeah, that's that's basically all I want to say in reference to that. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Um I'm gonna go and eat me some Super Bowl snacks. Watch a little halftime show with Dr. Dre. We have not seen Dr. Dre perform in a very, very, very long time. So this is going to be exciting. 90s. We're back in this thing. It's going to be exciting. So, um, yeah, I will speak with you guys later. Bye.